uh, this is a problem you're trying to figure out the, the apparent weight of the person who's going over a big old hump like that in their vehicle. And uh, you want to figure out uh, what is the apparent weight of the vehicle or if it's a person on a bike or whatever it is, doesn't matter. But this has got some kind of radius R, right? That's R. And when we draw the free body diagram here, we've got, let me go to a different color here, uh, the forces we have are mg and n and i know you've done this before but i'm just trying to do it for the video um and when we set up our equation uh, i'm only going to deal with the y side here which side do we have to make positive one more time uh, mg well yeah we no. got to make down positive because we it's a good practice is to always make towards the center positive and then nothing ever goes wrong that means when we write uh, net force y equals m a y really we're going to kind of substitute net force c equals MAC right there, that is gonna be, notice it will be MG minus N equals MV squared over R. And when it asks for the, so we just solve for N, uh, MG minus MV squared over R equals N. When it asks for the apparent weight, it's really asking for the normal force. So that one is how you find the normal force. That's what, if, if that car drove over a scale, that is that normal force is what the scale would read. Um, okay. So uh, if, for the example there is if you're in an elevator and it's accelerating down at 9.8 meters per second squared, you will feel weightless. Your scale will read zero and the normal force will be zero. Now, let me just rewrite this like this. Um, let's say the question is, what would it take to feel weightless? Let me just uh, rewrite this. I'm gonna rewrite this part of the equation just like using some general terms. Mg is just the force of gravity. Uh, minus N equals MV squared over R. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I just rewrote that equation, but check this out. As you go faster and faster and faster, in other words, as V gets bigger and bigger and bigger, what happens to the right side as V gets bigger? What happens to that side? Fg. This side, as V gets bigger, what happens to the right side? Does it get bigger or smaller? I believe FG gets bigger, but then... I'm asking about FG. I'm just asking about this side here. As V gets higher, what happens to this side? That's the easy question. Huh. Don't make it too hard. What happens when V gets bigger? What happens to the whole side? It gets bigger as well. Boom, done. Gets bigger. Does that make sense? When as this side has to get bigger as V gets bigger, right? Right. Now look at this side. If this side gets bigger, what happens to happen to this whole side? Then what has to happen to this side? It also has to get bigger. It also has to get bigger. Let me ask you this. Which one of these can change? Can the force of gravity change? No. 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 Can the normal force change? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it can. If this side gets bigger, what is the only, what do you got to do to this side? What's the only thing that can happen to make the left side bigger as well? Normal force has to decrease. Right. The normal force has to decrease. What is the lowest the normal force can be? Zero. Right. That is how you get to the point when you're going as fast as you can without, uh, if, if you went faster, the force of gravity wouldn't be enough. You would actually follow a bigger radius of a circle if you were going too fast. You would, you would actually leave that circle that you're on. Uh, this is the smallest it can get is zero is the smallest. So what's the fastest speed you can go? It is, if you want to stay on that thing, that's the instant that normal force turns to zero. What you get is you just solve this. I'm gonna, now I'm going to substitute mg equals mv squared over r. Notice it doesn't matter the mass. The fastest speed you can go is such that I'm going to solve for V squared or solve for V. RG equals V squared, square root of both sides. Notice that that right there is the fastest speed you can go without leaving. That's the, that happens when the normal force is exactly zero. Uh, if you go faster, the normal force will be zero too. But we're looking for the uh, transitional case where the normal force becomes zero you're still, you could imagine yourself as an atom width above that, you will still follow that exact path, but you might be an atom above the surface or less than that. Your normal force will be zero in that situation. Does that make sense?
That's as yeah, fast yeah. as you can go. So I just want to explain that. And I'm going to stop the record now.